Hi everybody, welcome to another arts and crafts video. Um, for this video I have something that's heavily inspired by the hot weather we've been having. Um, this ice cream 3D collage art. So here are the materials that you'll need to make your own ice cream art. Three pieces of cardboard, they can be any size. Pencil, markers, scotch tape a glue stick or liquid glue, scissors, something circular that you can trace with your pencil. Um, this is what I used, a toilet paper roll, and different kinds of paper. But don't worry if you don't have a lot of paper or if the paper that you have at home doesn't look exactly like mine. Some of the paper that, I, that I'm going to be using and that I save is just notebook paper that I that is an interesting color. Or you can use construction paper too. So that's the stuff that we're going to need. So let's get started. Before we get started, here's a better view of my sample. Uh, now you can really see how it stands up on its own and it looks like a little picture frame. First step that we're going to do is we're going to just cut out all the cardboard pieces that we're going to need, uh, starting with the ice cream cone. For this step, you can grab your, your toilet paper tube and you can put it at the top like this. And then you'll use that to judge how to draw your ice cream cone. So here's what mine looks like. It's kind of just a V and then I made that line at the top to connect it and now we're going to cut it out. And here's my little ice cream cone. Don't throw out your scraps just yet. You should have something that looks like this. We're just going to grab one of the pieces from that, from that and use that for the back. And now we're going to cut out the ice cream scoops. Um, to figure out how many you want or how many you need, um, start kind of start by just putting your cone on the main piece of cardboard and see kind of how much space you have. Um, use your roll or your tape roll to figure out how many scoops you can fit. What I think I'm going to do is I'm going to put three, so I'm going to put two on the bottom and then one on the top. So I'm going to go ahead and use my roll to trace the scoops out. So here's what mine look like. So I'm going to cut out the little scoops. So now we're going to be applying our decorative papers onto the pieces of cardboard. So you'll need your glue, your tape, and your scissors, and grab the papers that you want to use. Uh, I'm going to start with the biggest piece, the back of the artwork. So this piece is way too big. Um, I'm going to trim it down so that there's a little bit of a, a border. See, so I trimmed it, but I left a little bit of it sticking out so that I can wrap it around um, the piece of cardboard. And we're just going to wrap it as if it's a birthday present. I'm going to cut the corners of this a little bit, like this. Just going to cut the corner in half. Like that. Once you... Once you cut the corners in half like this, you can fold it kind of like this and then fold the other side down like that in the same way. And then do it for the rest. So now it should look like your wrapping paper kind of has flaps and you'll just fold the flaps and tape them down with a little piece of scotch tape. So I'm going to do that now. So 
So here's what mine looks like in the end. Um, if you find that there are pieces that you have to cut off with your scissor or like that you have to fold over and then tape, um, don't worry about it. As long as you get this nice um, rectangle shape, you're good. So let's do the rest of the pieces. The good news about the ice cream cone is that unless you want it to be a special color, um, you can just leave it the color of the cardboard, the brown. You can also leave the back flaps alone because they're in the back and no one's going to really see them. And so that leaves our ice cream scoops. Um, these you can make whatever color you want, whatever papers you happen to have. You can use a pencil and trace it and then cut that out. So I'm just going to put it on top like this and, and roughly cut it out. And I'm going to do that for all my shapes and papers. Alright, so now that we have our papers cut out, we just have to glue them on to the cardboard. Like this. And then you stick the paper on top. So before we put it all together, um, if you want, you can kind of add um, toppings to your ice cream. Uh, for example, I'm going to go ahead and I'm going to add some brown paper bag paper to the top of my vanilla ice cream cone um, to make it kind of look like there's um, fudge on top. Um, and I might add some sprinkles with the markers. If you have any kind of fun stickers that you want to add, feel free. So once you're done decorating your ice cream scoops, uh, now we're just going to put it all together um, with our glue. So the first thing that we're going to glue down is the ice cream cone um, and to kind of figure out where exactly it has to go you can without gluing them just arrange your scoops to make sure that everything is going to fit I think something like that and now I'm going to glue it And the next thing that you want to glue down is just one of the ice cream scoops. And it should be the one that's on the top. Kind of like this. Because the cone and that top scoop, they're going to be supporting this one that's kind of in the middle of them. See? And even if you're like me and you're doing three, you're going to need that top one to support the rest. So let's glue that top scoop. And now we're going to glue the middle one. So if you have two scoops, just glue it and make sure that the middle one is touching a little bit of the top and a little bit of the cone so it will stay in place. And if you're like me, do the same thing, but just move it a little bit towards the side so you can add the third one next to it. And now the last one, just do the same thing. We're going to put it on top of this one. So I'm going to glue this little spot and I'm going to slip supporting piece of cardboard underneath. Since the third ice cream scoop actually has two levels of cardboard, it has the cone and then this extra scoop on top, I had to cut out two little pieces of cardboard and glue them on top of each other and then slip those guys underneath the last scoop so it can get the support that it needs. So I cleaned off my desk a little bit for the last step. 
which is adding the little flap onto your um, picture. But you put one piece of tape, put it halfway on the cardboard and leave the other half out so you can attach it to the back of your picture. And then you turn it around and you add another little piece. And there you go. So that's how you can make your own collage 3D art. I hope this project inspires you to do something really, really cool because um, you can really, really go crazy just cutting out different shapes out of cardboard and rearranging them and creating different stuff. Animals, uh, you can even make portraits of people out of cardboard and just gluing them together and kind of making it pop out. So if you do do something really crazy with this project, we'd love to see it. Um, you can snap a picture of it and post it on our Facebook page or you can email us. And that's all for now. So I'll see you guys next time with another craft. See you later.